The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to answer the question, is a paternity test required in order to receive child support? Uh, first, let's talk about two different situations. One is a situation in which the mother of a child is married or in a civil union at the time that the child is born. In these cases, the, uh, there really isn't a need to establish paternity. The child support issue will be dealt with as part of the divorce case between the two parties, but the person she was married to is presumed to be the father. If the father chooses to try to argue that he isn't actually the father of the child, um, then he may use paternity testing as a way to prove that he's not actually the father. But there's no requirement, it's not incumbent on the mother to establish paternity uh, in cases where she was married at the time that the child was born. If the mother was not married to anybody at the time that the child is born, then paternity has to be established before a court will order child support. So that there's, it's basically a two-step process. Step one is establishing who the father of the child is legally, and step two is once you've established the, who the father of the child is, uh, getting a child support order entered to have that father pay child support. So next let's talk about how to establish paternity. Um, there's two basic ways to establish paternity, voluntarily or involuntarily. If both parties agree, you can establish paternity by mutual consent. The father can sign an affidavit to establish paternity. A petition to establish paternity is filed along with that affidavit with the court, uh, and the court will sign an order uh, establishing paternity. And at that point, after the fact, the mother can then go back into court and uh, ask for child support and have a child support order entered. So that's establishing paternity by mutual consent. If the alleged father will not agree to paternity voluntarily, then you can file a petition to establish paternity with the court. Uh, but this is basically, there's going to be a trial and a hearing to determine whether the alleged father is actually the father. And in this case, DNA testing comes into play. It's the most common way to prove paternity. It's not conclusive uh, evidence of paternity, but it can, it's weighed along with the other evidence like the testimony of witnesses uh, and any other evidence that either party brings. Um, but it's given a heavy weight, especially because uh, sometimes the DNA test can have more conclusive results than others. It can exclude the father conclusively. Now, I'm sorry, not conclusively, but it can have stronger results than other. It can strongly exclude the person as being the father or can strongly indicate that the person is the father. The stronger these results are, uh, the more weight the test will carry with the judge. So in answer to the original question, um, getting a DNA test isn't necessary. There's other ways to prove paternity, uh, but it's the simplest way and most common. It's suggestible when the parties aren't married and the person who's alleged to be the father is not willing to consent to paternity. So that's when you would get a DNA test to prove paternity. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube channel, and we'll try to respond within 24 hours. Feel free to call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation. That's 630-324-6666. We practice nearly every area of law, and we have offices all around Chicagoland for your convenience. Uh, if you found this helpful, please subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, or SoundCloud. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.